hello. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. Um, milk doesn't have an E on the end, so erase that, please. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. It is Margaret, and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Uh, I am a stay-at-home homeschooling mom that makes money by selling things online and making shirts for merch by Amazon and... Yeah, so that's what we were doing. <laughs> we were finishing up our writing. But today I have a jewelry jar to unjar. Wait, one second. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So <laughs> we went this morning to the Goodwill, not too far from me, and usually the jars are gone. They tell me they have jars, but lots of people come in and get them. But they had three jars today, and I did buy them all. And they were way more expensive than they normally are at this particular Goodwill. Or have been, anyway. Um, this stuff, are we all right? Okay. Um, this jar was, watch it, $59.99. After you pick yourself up off the floor, I kind of followed my rules. <laughs> yeah, my rules are, my rule, my number one rule is don't buy the jar unless you see something in the jar that you're going to make your money back on. So I see some things in this jar that I think maybe will make my money back. But I also had a little bit of an emotional experience while we were there because the dude that was there just before me was checking out. Um, he had one thing and he made sure to say this out loud. So he's checking out and I'm, you know, right by the register looking at the jars and he says, yes, I'll pay $3.99 for this James Avery necklace. I was like, rub it in. <laughs> so anyway, he's standing there waiting for his change. And I was like, can I just take a peek at what you got? And he sure did. It was a retired James Avery schnauzer little charm pendant on a silver chain. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I said, I'm so envious, but good find, right? I was like, you're a man after my own heart. So he said, oh, it's going into my collection. I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> so the emotional part was, okay, he just found James Avery. So there could be more James Avery. And whether it's out or in a jar, okay, because that's my thinking. <laughs> my thinking um, is what happens. But I have had that happen where I found um, Kendra Scott necklace um, in the trays, and then I got a jar, and there was a Kendra Scott in the jar. So, yeah, <laughs> I know, cha-ching on that James Avery. I was like, dude, I would have so bought that. Um, but no, can Penelope come out and play today? We'll see it all on. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what I got. Hi, everybody. My selling collection, Debbie says, I know, right? Yeah, he's like this six-foot-tall, probably 300-pound dude, like, collecting James Avery. Maybe whatever <laughs> it's okay so let me say hey in the chat and then we're gonna bust into this jar I'll show you what I see in this jar that looks promising all right it might be a stretch but we're gonna pull our last dime out of this jar right okay hey Murphy the Esky one which lady hi Brandy hello Susan hello Julie thrifty paper garden I was taking my things off the wall today in my workroom uh, and I was thinking about you so thank you um Hi, Delinda. Hi, Brenda. Hello, Lord Ahab. Hi, One Witch Lady. Hello, Murphy. Oh, I already said Murphy. Oh, look at me. I can't even think. I'm like saying this. Hey, hey to people twice. It's cool. Hey, Pamela. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Dixie Girl. Hello, hello. Okay, our charity shops, the stack gets first dibs and sells the stuff on eBay. Oh, darn. And I know one in Kerrville that does that. They're, but they're a charity. I mean, I know some of them are charity, charity shops. Some of them are good well. Like this is a good well, right? Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so first up, this necklace here, this pearly necklace, um, it's knotted. And so I was like, okay, well, that's a that's a I'm gonna take a chance. I was looking at the pearls, what may be pearls, and they looked okay. I didn't see any like flaking or like sometimes you'll see them in the the coating is like if they're fake, that is, you know, peeling off. So I didn't see any that were peeling. I was trying to look around the holes. So that was a possibility. Another one, there's another one down here, and the clasp on it has this vintage clasp. I don't know if you can see it right there. So that was another possibility. And then I think there's some kind of like maybe vintage charm bracelet. You see the heart right there? And then there's another one here, it is over here. 
you see the heart with these little silhouette charms. So I think there's like a vintage charm bracelet in there maybe. Um, and then there's this heart right here that I think might be a locket. So we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure. Let me, I'm gonna give that person a chance. Um, no, I'm not gonna be able to go to eBay Open this year because we're moving and so much money cost, costing moving. I didn't say, oh, sorry, quirky girl. <laughs> I'm missing people. Hi, hi, hi. Sorry if I missed you guys. Okay, and then another thing, there was like a chain right here. It looked like a nice little fine chain. And guess what I have today? I haven't lost it yet. It's my magnet. So yay, I've got my magnet. I've got my loop and I'm ready to go. Oh, and then the top, there's this thing that wants to look like, you know, fake jade or something like that. Just for fun. Just for fun. Okay. <sighs> Let me take a bump one second. Uh, boom. Okay. So I'm going to try to peel this. Like I'm trying to peel it off without breaking this fine little chain. I'm pretty sure it's silver. It's already kind of broken, it looks like. Okay, there we go. I'm cutting now. I'm cutting, I'm cutting the whatchamadoodle tape off. I was trying to pretend like I was a surgeon, but I don't know any surgeon terms. I don't watch enough uh, medical shows. I can't watch medical shows. They gross me out. You know, I have such a weak stomach, I think. I couldn't have been a nurse. Okay, here we go. Got it. Ta-da. Okay. Uh, phone needs to go over there. Oh my gosh, speaking of not jewelry, <laughs> um, my did you guys see on my Instagram and I think I posted on yeah on Facebook too. We when my husband was um helping me dig out the top of my grandmother's closet, there were some shelves up there. If you don't know, we're moving anyway. We'll get to the jewelry in a second, so we gotta hang out for one second. So, um, we this was my grandmother's house. And in one of the closets, she had like shelves built in. And up at the very tippy tippy top, the top two shelves in this one closet were um, all her old slides um, and slide projector, which is what I thought was all the only thing up there. So I was like, we never messed with it because I never had time to like look at all these slides. So I was like, Granny, get all these slides, get on the ladder, get all these slides down because you had to get a ladder to get to the top of this closet. Anyway, so he's pulling them down and he finds two boxes full of um, eight millimeter films, like fa old family movies and travel movies and stuff that my grandmother had taken, I guess with Super 8. And he's like, oh, there's all these old movies, you know, like on the reels. And I was like, oh, so cool. And he's like, oh, uh, we're gonna, we don't have, I wish we had something to play them on. I was like, keep digging, it's in there. If my grandmother had it, she still had it. And sure enough, back there, there was a sweet little, you know, little reel to reel movie player up there this whole time. Right, so I I um, wound it up and watched one little clip yesterday, and I shared it. So, yeah, I'll probably be sharing a few more. We're gonna go through it, and so you might see some videos on here, uh, some old family videos from the fifties. So fun times. Okay, jewelry. Here we go. Um, I know, right, Jenny? Oh. <laughs> okay, so first up, this is a little chain. You can see it's broken right there. Something's going on with it. But it's got this little, usually when I see a little, I need to know the name of this. It looks like a little curvy razor blade, but it's not. Um, but usually that's got the stamp on it, usually. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put them on, um, I'm gonna get them digitized for sure. All the, di all the um, slides too. This says CW, and then the other side says 925 Italy. So this will probably go, like in my, I have a silver scrap for stuff that's broken. Get enough of it together. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get them all digitized. I sent um, the, some of the clips to my my mom and my aunt and stuff. So and the one I shared had my grandfather who died before I was born, my great grandmother, my mom as a, a child, and my aunt as a child. So we'll see what the rest of them hold. Okay, so next up we've got this necklace, which is cute. I mean, it's what I do with these is I look at the cords. The leather cord looks okay. So I'll probably try to sell this one. Now, do I think I've got my money back yet? $60? No, not yet. Oh, did you say, oh good. I know, I can't wait to see what else is in there because we only mess with one of them. And um, so I, yeah, I, we just have been busy. Okay, so these are cute, but uh, yeah, no. 
Uh, okay, so we've got these earrings, and this has got some like yucky on it. So these will probably, I don't know that that's gonna clean off either, no. Nope. Um, so these will go into like junk jewelry. <laughs> oh no, yeah, no, Joy Joy is still in there. <laughs> um, oh nice, one witch lady says, I bought a pendant today. I think it might be unmarked white gold and, uh, with a sapphire. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, totally. I'm sorry, I'm reading in the chat real fast. Are we on Boxing Georgia? No. Oh, my, yeah, my grandmother, she saved everything. She saved everything. So we've got some nice little bangles here. These remind me of, um, like, the Indian style, you know, where they would wear, they'll wear all the really colorful bangles, really pretty. So there's those. Where can I put those? Those will probably, I mean, at this time, it'll, they'll probably just go into a, like a, a junk lot or something. We've got these giant earrings. Come on, jewelry jar. Let's make that money back. And these ones, you know, I've, I've had somebody tell me, you can't see them, I'm looking at them down here. I've had someone tell me that they've done okay with big giant hoop earrings like this. I'm trying to remember who it was. I mean, these ones seem to be in pretty good shape. Let's see. I don't think they're silver. No, they're not silver or anything. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. 95 Italy is often the class with silver and the rest is plated. Huh. Okay, yeah, I'll double check it. Thank you for letting me know that. Okay, next up is one of these. That's always fun. Usually there's bonus hair in between. This one's pretty clean though. Okay, good job. So this one's going into the bulk lot. Okay, it's one over there. My bulk lot's growing. Ooh, okay, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. Okay, look, cool. This is very cool. So this is wood and like silver or silver to digital mark in there. And then this part is also wood. That is so unusual, you guys. Let me see what that, I think that mark just says 925 in there. Where's my loop? That, hmm. Yep, inside it, right in there. That stamp says 925. What does it say? It, it stamped it. But look how cool that is. That's super unusual. Look at that ring. Ooh, yeah, isn't that nice? Okay, this might be worth some money. This one might be worth some money. <laughs> Julie says, yeah, giant ones sell, especially giant ugly ones. All right, this one is very cool. I'm gonna have to look this up. I don't see a maker's mark on it or anything, but I think just the unusualness of it, I think at least 30 bucks. Am I being overly? It's not a napkin ring, Diego. I will banish you with my wooden ring. I think instead of, I think, I'm not banishing you, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it could be like, made of a wizard's wand, right? I don't know. I'm trying to, oh gosh. There we go, okay, it came off. Ah, Ta-da! Isn't it awesome? I was just kidding about the vanishing thing. <laughs> You're here. You're in the tribe now. Too bad, too late. You've been indoctrinated. <laughs> You've drank the Kool-Aid. Um, yeah, I, I think at least 30 bucks on this, if not more. So let me know if you think that that's just insane if you're watching now or later, but I totally think, I totally think I can get at least 30 bucks for that. That's so cool, right? Okay, let's see what you guys, um, what do I do with this jewelry my son doesn't want? Um, so far there hasn't been any that he doesn't want. Once he, once he got the taste and made some money, everything I set aside that I'm like, oh, I'll lock that up, he has just taken. And what happened at the last garage sale is some guy came along, somebody like me, and just said, let me just buy all, all the stuff you've got here. And so he's like, okay, 50 bucks. And the guy handed him 50 bucks for all the junk that I throw out, right? So yeah, there you go. Um, no, I don't, yeah. Hmm. I'm looking in. Isn't it super cool? Hey, Nawanda, this is, I see some new names in there. Hi, Trixie can too, nice to see ya. Okay, hey, Mary. Okay, I'm looking, looking. Okay, Kaylee says, I've sold one just like that, but mine was a light brown colored, and it sold for 55 last year. Cool, yes, more than 30. That ring is gorgeous. Okay, whoo, all right. You are the saving grace, beautiful wooden ring. Mwah. Yes, <laughs> okay, 
you'd price it at 85 at least. You know what? I like that. I'm going to do it. 85 with the best offer. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's move on. I'm putting earrings up here. Oh, wait, look, the mate's right on top. Isn't someone sweet? These are cute. Okay, these are like almost Margaret loves them cute. Okay, those are really sweet earrings. There we go. I have this picture of James opening up his version of Lemmy's tin only in jewelry. Okay, but yeah, I think they would clash with my hair. They would just, uh, they wouldn't show up with my hair. But these are really cute. I'll sell these. Yeah. Um, oh, somebody always asks me, how much do I think I'll sell them? So I think these ones would probably go, I don't know, about $14.99, somewhere in that range. They're not silver or anything. Yeah, he did super well. All right, next up, okay, we've got the pearls, maybe pearls, the maybe pearls. I don't know. I think they're maybe not real. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've got a mark. Can we see what the mark is on the back of that? They're really heavy. Okay, so they're really, really, really heavy for for what they look like. I was surprised at how heavy they are. Okay, I'm going to get my loop and see what that says on the back. All right, here goes. Aha! I'm going to not even put them in my mouth. But this is marked. Could y'all read it? It's marked Trifari. Oh, now it's upside down. So, unless Trifari made real pearls, which I do not think, I'm opening the clasp. Still, the thing is, is that Trifari is a nice, um, you know, nice costume jewelry brand. So, I lied. No, no. Okay. <laughs> So these are some Trifari costume jewelry pearls. So they're nice costume jewelry pearls. I don't know. I don't know what a double strand of Trifari pearls would go for. So I couldn't tell you. I could guess. I mean, more than, I mean, 20 bucks at least. So yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not even, mm -mm. there's no coat, there's no, there's no grit. They have no grit. So, but they're really heavy. Yeah, they're really heavy. Okay, cool. So I don't know. I think it's still a good find too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, and guys, if you're watching later and you're like, wow, she keeps talking to people. Look, the chat's over here or on your phone down there. So next up, we have got this brooch. And let's see if it's missing any stones. It doesn't look like it's missing any stones. I love the open work of it. It's really cute. Okay, let's turn it over. And I do not see any maker's marks or anything. So this will probably go up. Uh, I'm just guessing here. Uh, around, I don't know, between $12.99 and $14.99, somewhere in that range. If you guys think I'm off, tell me. Tell me. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we're doing okay. I think we're going to make our money back. Because look, we still have this much left. We've only done this much. That ring, ooh. The ring and then the faux pearls. Sweets. All right, we've got some earrings here. What are we doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? Oh yeah, I will check the prices. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> okay, so these are some earrings that look kind of like fishing. <laughs> they look like like little fishing mirror thingies. They're okay looking. What do you think? That sound would drive me nuts. Can you hear that? Quang 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 quang. Okay, <laughs> um, so yeah, I, um, okay, they're not my style. They might be somebody's style, so what I'll do is probably, I'm guessing around 12 bucks on those. Oh gosh, Kaylee, how much was this jar? It was, ready for it, wait for it, $59.99. Yeah, all right, we've got a broken uh, little thing of pearls. These are knotted. So I am gonna, I'm rubbing a spot. No, okay, so those are not real pearls at all. So they're going over my junk pile, junk pile. Okay, then we have, looks like a little charm bracelet, super cute. Let's see, flip it around so we can see what it is. We have, trying to hold it still, some little golden balls. We've got the Santa moon, little enamel tree, little enamel, Snowman, this is really cute. And I'm looking to see if I see any kind of maker's mark. It seems like it would have a maker's mark, right? This is absolutely magnetic. I think it's still cute, even though it's not 
really gold and I don't see any maker's mark. I think this could still sell. Uh, so I'm thinking I probably put it up for, you know, game again, like 12, 15 bucks. I know Wilted Magnolia. It was expensive. All right, next up, this kind of looks like a Brighton watch. So let's see. That's my guess. But it says, Gene oh, it's a Geneva watch. So this will probably go, I don't know much about watches still. I'm still learning. My son is also learning. So I'll put this to the side. And we can learn about that one together. Isn't that cute? Okay, next, we've got these green, like, seed pearl things. I don't know. What is going on with them? Are they supposed to look like that? Or is that, that's weird to me. I don't know what's going on with this necklace. Okay, so if you have information on something like this, it's super lightweight. What's the story here? I don't even understand, I don't understand. 25 bucks for the watch, really? Okay, I'm picking that out of that pile. All right, let's go back over there. <laughs> Um, Kayla says, I found last week in the jewelry a pair of earrings that were weird looking. They had some fishing words that told them uh, one lady bought them to wear when she went fishing. All oh, right, right, these kind of are weird looking. I don't know what's going on with this. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Quirky Girl. Okay, next up. Oh, this is kind of cool. Ow, though. Oh, that's an earring. It's like, why is it poking me? It's a necklace. You're not supposed to poke me. Wait, what is happening with this? What in the world? Did it? Okay, what? I don't know what's happening here. Did somebody, somebody missed? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure this out one second. No, I can't. All right, you tell me. So there's this, which I think, oh, that's cool, right? And maybe missing a something. But then I, this was poking on me, right? So I was like, what's going on here? There's, oh, there's an earring stuck. No, this earring is part of it. Look, it's attached to this. What? What? I guess somebody was making some jewelry and ran out of bling and just took an earring and like, but then there's this. I'm so confused because that would hurt. That thing is going to sit and just start poking you. I guess there are people that are into that, right? Maybe. Okay. Hang on. I <laughs> think I'm gonna check it out, see what it looks like in there. What are we working with? No, it's glued on there. This is all, I was trying to take the back off of that. Mm -mm, glued. That is so weird. That is so weird. I'm gonna get it off. I don't know, if I'm gonna, oh, here we go, pull. Pull! I wanna see the back of this earring. What if it's something awesome? Mm, nope. Nope, but I had to know, right? I mean, that's why we're here. <laughs> uh oh, Dan's here. <laughs> Not uh oh, sorry. <laughs> we're have oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, this thing, like, yeah, this earring is on. Is this is part of the necklace? It was glued on. You can see where the glue is on there, but it's just gonna poke you. It's gonna sit there and poke you all day. Okay, that's going over here. That's going to that pile. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, we have got a really pretty necklace. It's a pendant stabilizer. <laughs> Just push hard. It'll keep it in its place. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is really long. I love it's so feminine. I think that's what I love about it. It's this long gold, golden. With a little, I've got to figure out what that style is called, where it's got intermittent doodads. We'll just call them doodads for now. And that's what they look like. They look like this, both sides. And, I mean, that's really cool. Look at this chain. I love it. I love it. Okay, let me see. <sighs> Bummer. I, I like to see a maker's mark on stuff like this. I don't see a maker's mark. I'm, you know, it's not gonna be like gold, gold or anything. Hang on. You know, it's magnetic, but it's really, really pretty. I love it. So, yeah, because then you can double it up, or I really like this. And I don't really wear long necklaces like this, but this one might go in a Margaret pile. A Margaret for now pile until I get tired of it. Then I stations, thank you, Kim. Um 
you know, because this is the perk. You can like keep it until you're tired of it and then just get rid of it and sell it. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh. Okay, I'm pulling a few things out. I've got a keychain. It's a Nine West keychain. Nothing fancy, so it gets to go over there. Um, I pulled out a couple of rings here, but I want to wait because I see some others in here that might go with it. They look like stackables. Okay. Then, okay, look at these earrings. These are awesome. These earrings actually go with what I'm wearing. They go with my other earrings and my necklace. So these look like this. And then the piece, the post, goes into this hole somehow magically, like that. Neat. Are they silver or are they just that way? Right? Could you see me in those? I don't know. I mean, I'm wearing some of them just like them. I'm like, I don't really know if these are me. I mean, there's somebody, but they are, uh, <laughs> I know, Dave, I know. I don't think these are silver, though. Just a hunch. Hang on. I'm going to try. Well, I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to find a flat surface to see if I drag it. Well, they're not to charge the magnet. So, but I don't really see a mark on them anywhere. Um, burp, 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 burp. That is my sound where I'm thinking about. Nope, I don't see any kind of marks. But aren't they cool? <laughs> so yeah, I will definitely sell these. I'll have to figure out what this shape is called exactly. It's not, uh, I know it, but I can't think of it. Um, hey, Arlene. No, I just, yeah, I delete all the photos after I take, um, after I list the items. I just delete them. Those earrings look like something I would wear. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay, next up. Hang on, these are some loose earrings. Let me put them to the side until I find the mates. More loose earrings. Oh, those are cool. Oh, that's a mate. We got a match. Those are cute. Okay, I'll sell those. I mean, again, these aren't fancy fancy. So maybe, you know, 10 or 12 bucks, somewhere in there. The stones that are shaped. Stones that are, wait. Stones that shape are marquee. Okay. Okay, pulling out more. Okay, these earrings I know will sell. These are cool. They're these earth tone sort of muted jewel tones that are etched so these are cool i'll probably again 12 15 bucks that's my guess that's my guesstimate marquis marquis Mar marquis 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 <laughs> okay um then we've got these these will probably just go in a in a lot i don't know there's nothing they don't look extra special to me Maybe. I'm going to put them to the side. My son keeps making money off my junk. <laughs> we have some silver little hoopy earrings, and I'm pretty sure they're just silver tone. Yeah, it looks like the finish is coming off them, so these can go in my junk lot over here. Marquis. Right? Am I saying that right? I think I'm saying that right. Oh, this is fun. So it's these seed beads with a peace sign. I will totally sell this. Again, probably about $12. I'll sell it. Is it on a stretchy? No, it's not. It's got a barrel clasp. Like so. Fun. Yeah. Go hippie. <laughs> Next, we, oh, is this must be the rest of that bracelet that I already thought. Darn it. I was hoping this would be something. Oh, well. I was counting on you, pearls. I was counting on you. I'm checking the, the uh, clasp. I mean, the class says 14K, so let's see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. The little class part says 14K, so we'll see. I'll set that to the side and double check it. Maybe I ought to grab those pearls back. No, they're not. They're just not. Okay. <laughs> Next up, oh, we've got some tangles, which can be really good because you know what happens with tangles. Nobody wants to untangle it. Let's throw the darn thing in the jar. Right? That's my impression of what's happening in the back of Goodwill. We've got this plasticky beady thing. Eh, that's going to my junk pile. Should I? Y'all aren't going to want to sit here and watch me untangle all this. Look at this. What am I going to do? But that's why we're here. We're here to see that, Margaret, to see what you've got. Seriously, though, this is 
this is a bit much. <laughs> what are we to do? I mean, how long you got? What? Oh my, so yeah, look, there are many necklaces here. Many. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, Julie? I mean, this is when you find good stuff, right? Because they're just like, ah, oh, it's all tangled. I don't want to deal with it. Get it out of my face. Oh my gosh, does that say Rhonda? Rhonda, are you here? <laughs> There's like a thing necklace that, like a, a, you know, name necklace. Oh my, God. and I feel bad because I have it down low where you can't see me untangling it. Here it is. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remove one part from it at least. Oh gosh, what am I gonna do? What do you think? Okay, let me finish the jar, and then we'll kind of peek at. We'll try to find all the ends, and then I'll pick it apart and maybe show it on Instagram or on Facebook or something. Whew. Ooh. All right, so we have got, please don't be a choker. Is that gonna fit? I think that's supposed to be a choker. Okay, this is supposed to be a choker for someone with a really small neck, but it's got this little faux opal in there. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so see, no, you can't see through the back. Little faux opal. How? Okay, how's that supposed to go? I mean, with that, you wouldn't have, that's too big for a bracelet. You wouldn't have this as an anklet. Look at this, how? Okay, here we go. For a little girl, must be, or a doll? Please be for like a doll. Nope. Yep. Toss it in the, pa oh yeah, I need some baby powder or some like cornstarch or something to. Okay, hang, I still, this is still sitting here. So we've got some more in the jar. Um, we, my, and my other, a lot of my other silver gold chain personal stuff, I have like a little sucrets tin that has some baby powder in it so that the, ch the chains don't get all tangled up. Look, this is all tangled too. Ooh, magnet. Wait, no, that's not a magnet. What are you? Oh, it's a camera. Okay, hey. I thought it was a magnet stuck to something. I was like, I can always use another magnet. Goodness gracious. With the tangles today. You got $60 worth of tangles. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, here, ooh, okay. So, this is fun. This is a camera pendant. I for sure can sell that. That's really cool. Looks like this on the front and this on the back. And I'll have to look that up because I think I could sell it for more than 15 bucks, depending on what's out there. Because, you know, shutterbugs are really into camera stuff, right? Or someone's looking for a gift. This is stretchy. Oh, there it is. You know we had to have it. We got the jewelry jar. We had to find the bonus hair. Where did it go? Please don't be lost. Oh, there it is. I was like, because if it's not, where did it go? If it drops, it drops on me. Oh, gosh. There it is. We had to find the bonus hair. There it is. Okay, you get to go over there. Bonus hair. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> you knew it was coming. We can't have a jar without bonus hair. <laughs> as long as it doesn't fall on me, I need to know where it is at all times. So that's kind of fun, just a stretchy necklace with lots of colors. I don't know what I'll do with that. Would you try to sell that? Mm, I don't know. Um, oh, the camera looks like you put a scent in it. Let me see. No, the back doesn't come across, don't come open. But I know what you mean, like with the cut, with the, yeah, it's all soldered closed, see? And this part does not, let me try one more time. Mm-mm. No, nope, not open. Okay, going in again. We still have a couple of, um, oh wait, these ones I didn't get to. Ah, darn it again with the tangles. All right, so here's another one, kind of like that butterfly one. It's stretchy. Oh, look, there's another butterfly. So, I don't know. I'm not in love with them. I mean, but hey, somebody might be. We'll see. We'll see. I'll think about it. <laughs> Clone a person with her. There we go. She'll be sorry. It'll be my golem. <laughs> okay, then we've got just one of these ball chains, like so. Right, and it's, yeah, just like that. One of those type of chains. Um, then we, oh, pretty. 
Oh, you are pretty. So we've got some probably just, hang on, it's tangled on the end. Let me get it up there. Oh, look, and this is, I do like the sound of this. Right? That's nice. Shall we try it? Shall we? Oh, okay, one more time. One more, you get one more try to hit this. Oh, darling, oh, darling, there we are. <laughs> I feel like I should be in, in the ballet. <laughs> Where's my ring? I've got all my fancy necklace now. I need my, I need my ring. Hello, everybody. It's Penelope von Schnitzelbitz off here. No, oh, can we get it off? Or are we gonna have to talk like Penelope the whole time? Oh, yeah. It's all fun and games, so you can't get it off. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Got it. <sighs> all right. So, very cool. Okay, it's pretty. Only, like, I can't remember what I was doing while I had it on. I didn't do anything weird, did I? No kidding. <laughs> um, so these ones, you know, probably just the plastic from what I'm, you know, like they look like a reproduction sort of French jet. French jet being like the glass. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, Antoinette, thank you for the super chat. Uh oh, something fell on my lap. Um, she says, watching from the UK, love your videos, especially the jewelry jars and the wonderful Penelope. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel <laughs> with a C. Okay, so this cord, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um, had look at this, darling angel. Look at her. She's glorious, isn't she? She's kind of a heart-shaped. I've never seen anything quite like her. That's where she is there. Is that a mark? It looks like maybe a little mark there. Let me look at it closer. Oh, so cool. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. She's so neat. I, don't, I mean, I don't think she's silver now that I'm looking. Look at her. She's got some stuff. Some schmutz on the back. She's got some yucky stuff. But she's not magnetic, so maybe I'll take a closer look at her. Isn't she cool? That's the back on her halo. Yeah, yeah. I don't normally do, like, cutesy pootsy angel stuff, but this one's, like, you know what I'm talking about. Some angel jewelry is, like, so cutesy. But this one, she's, I don't know, she's elegant. I like her. All right, you get to stay over there because you're unique. You're unique. <laughs> Hello, Julia. Thank you. Okay, you are cool. So I hope your mate's there. Um. Uh oh. Let's see. Um. Now I did get. They had three jars, and I did get them all. And the reason is, is that in one of the jars I saw an earring, that that was marked on the back, and then I saw the mate to it in the other jar. So I thought I better just get them all. Is that my logic? Um, let's see. Um, right, she has a nice gothic look to her, Murphy says. I have an angel charm hanging from my rear view mirror to keep me safe. Nini says, you can always clean her up, sell her for a good price. If she's not silver, I don't think she's pewter. The silvery part on her is too shiny. You know what I mean? So like the silver, like pewter is that like, almost like a gunmetal gray. More like, you know, it's got less shine to it. Not that, that's not pewter, but it's more like like a gray, kind of gray silver. Um, a meteorite. I missed something. <laughs> I missed something. Look at these earrings. Ooh. These. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Shall we? Should I? These are in a jar, Margaret. This is a bad idea. Oh my goodness, I kind of like them. These are, this is a really bad idea. Please don't try this at home. I'm doing this for your amusement. Look at that. I almost love them. I almost love them. <laughs> Just look at the way my earlobes move in them. Oh my goodness. I'll just have to look. I feel like, I feel like it's almost like a spy weapon. Okay, I feel like I am, you know, a secret agent and I'm about to have like 
a, an encounter, you know, and like there's always that dance scene and James Bond is coming along, you know, and there's a ball or whatever. It's espionage, right? And and these are, are my secret weapon. And if I swish my head hard enough, this thing comes flying off and like, whoosh, 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 bam, and like knocks the guy out, right? That's how heavy these are. Like one, two, like, like shot put, right? I can shot put these off my ears. Yes, yeah, Penelope. <laughs> Penelope is, shh, don't blow my cover, y'all. <laughs> Penelope's a secret agent. This is my, no one can know. I trust you. And now I suddenly can't do her voice anymore because she's a secret agent. That's why. Ow. <laughs> okay. These are fun. Oh, gosh. Oh. <sighs> Do I need to keep these? <laughs> They're, oh, they are marked. Oh, ooh, okay. They're marked. Here we go. We're going in. Coffee? Oh, I've only had two, like, two cups. Okay, Yoska. That's a new one for me, you guys. Y-O-S-C-A. Who's got Google open? <laughs> Yoska. Let me check the other one. Y-O-S-C-A. Ooh, are they couture? I don't know. So they've got this little, what is that, a cartouche? Is that what that's called again? And it says Yoska, Y-O-S-C-A. They are heavy. I'm telling you. They'll just be like my shot put, you know, spy earrings, my secret agent earrings for knocking out the bad guy. <laughs> I feel like I need to sanitize. The pot does not count as a cup. Only two of them. <laughs> okay, next up. Um, we have this. This is the one I was telling you. I thought it was a um, locket because you can see, right? It opens and it does open, y'all. Oh, is that all it does? Oh my gosh, that's a letdown. Right? It opens, but watch. To reveal. Oh, wait, does that open? No. Darn it. Okay, that's it. Oh, man. All right. I thought it was going to open and be like some glorious image or mirror, I don't know. I mean, it's still cool, I guess. Oh, fine. Cheese grater, what? <laughs> okay, so there's that. I mean, that's cool. It's like a Rivoli type stone. What are y'all crinkling? Sorry, what does that sound, y'all? Okay, let's take that down a notch. Okay, next up, oh gosh. Oh, yeah, I gotta, yes. Ger, Gerard Yoska, Patricia said. Okay, okay, is that worth any money? Did y'all look? Y Yoska will pay for half the jar. Oh, cool, 30 bucks. Nice. All right, so we've got a stretchy bracelet here. I'm about to lose it. The crackling, the crackling. We'll take it to the other room. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Is it a smelling? I don't know where you would put it. <laughs> like, I'm in my smelling slots. Whoops, they all spill out. <laughs> you know? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, y'all, okay. So this is, uh, it's got the tag still on it, 15 bucks. But it's already, I don't understand if it's still new with tags. It's, still, it's already worn. Unless it's supposed to look that way. I don't think so. Okay, next, do I want to? I'm just gonna dump this in my lap. Well, that was a bad idea. All right, there goes that. That'll be the last time I ever see that bead, because I have got cats. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so next up, I have a. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hide your spy equipment in the heart. Um, Self-taught designer, Ginny says, that has designed jewels for the likes. Oh, cool, Ralph Lauren, Oscar de la Renta, Nicole Military. Oh, nice. Right, it opens weird. So maybe someone will love it, right? Okay, so next up we've got a little charm that is in the shape of a horseshoe. Unfortunately, it's pointing the wrong way. So generally, you know, horseshoes go up to hold in the good luck. That's okay. Then we have a key. Keychain. It's fancy. It's got the Eiffel Tower. It says Paris. 
this is more of a pewter color, I would think. Um, so this, I'll try to sell that. I think somebody might like that. It's cute, right? I love it. I love it. Okay, no, I can't keep it all. Hey, Perla, we're opening the jar. And I just spilled beads all over. One of, well, one, one bead. Oh, that was louder than I anticipated. Um, I've got a few little bits. I still have more, so I'm just trying to clear off what's on my lap here. Uh, another wiry cord. I've got a gold, most likely gold tone. Where'd my magnet go? Necklace, let's find out. It is, I can't tell if it's attracted to the magnet or not, or if I'm just bouncing it. I think it's slightly attracted. Hang on, let me get my loop. <sighs> Yay, hello! Give that to your <laughs> enemies to jinx them, right? That's what you do. Yeah, so this is probably just like a gold um, gold tone chain. Anyway, hey, 82 viewers. I just looked down to see how many viewers there were. Go over there and hit the thumbs up. <laughs> I've done Penelope three times for your amusement. Come on now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and the two are already there, right? Again, the two, the two, the two thumbs down, right? <laughs> <laughs> the two thumbs down because I'm not doing Penelope for the whole time. All right, so this looks like a child's bracelet, but it's so cute, right? It's got a little cross. It's got the turquoisey turquoise. Oh, wow, that really stretched out quickly. So I stretched it, and then it already kind of feels sprung. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we'll see. Maybe I'll try to sell that. I don't know. Um. Oh, wow. Nawanda says, I've been watching for a while, for two months. I'm not I'm not really new for some commenting. I'm from Austin now, live 60 miles away. How cool in LaGrange. Nice. Okay, I'm trying to see this. Okay, okay. Let me go back to the other stuff because we do have a few other things. There is a Monster High watch, which I'm going to look up because it's in really good shape. And I know there are people that collect Monster High stuff. And this one is in really nice shape. So... I mean, it may be worth nothing. It may be something. So we'll see. That's a question mark. Then, hang on. I've got, I've got some stuff here. Ooh, okay. I remember seeing that. That is not what I remember it looking like in the jar, though. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. So these are just bits that I'm going to throw back in the jar. Oh, wait. There's that other ring from that stackable stack that I didn't show you yet. Okay. Get back over here. <laughs> then, what's next? This has got a lot of stuff in it, but I think we'll be okay making our money back. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, 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 focus, focus, focus. One thing at a time. We have a bracelet that's got like a breast cancer bracelet. And this has little pearl pearls inside it. If you can see them moving around in there. That's sweet. Um, oh, this is a Brighton, okay. If this one's in good shape, I'll sell it. I'll have to double check and make sure that the, you know, that it looks good. Let's see, like so. I mean, as long as the the coating and everything's in good shape, all the stones are there. Let's see if all the stones are there. Are you there? Boom. Boom. Okay, I'll check that one out and see if what it goes for. Okay, so there we go. It was supposed to be when you were considered an adult, you got a key to a house. Oh, nice. Can you do a matched earrings haul? Finding all the matches, that would be cool. <laughs> ah, okay. Um. <laughs> uh, you're, she's a quirky girl says, my videos are as entertaining as old vaudeville shows. <laughs> that could be good or bad. I do like that kind of stuff, so I haven't sang for y'all today. So there's always that. There goes that bead. Okay, so I saw this in there, thinking, oh, that's interesting. But then I realized, no, look, they like randomly glued it on with a piece of chewing gum. I don't know. I'll just make my own necklace right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, Mimi. How did I know you were going to find that? The time has come. Maybe she'll. Nope. Nope. There she goes. Okay. <laughs> She's going to play with that the whole time. 
Okay, this looks promising, you guys. Maybe. It's a very teeny, teeny, teeny fine chain with a really pretty something on it. But it's got one of those where they stamp what it is on it. It's really fine. Like the chain is super fine. Super fine. All right, I'm looking. I'm going in. It says M O R on one side. I'm flipping it. Ooh, 14 karat Italy. Ooh. All right, let me see if I can get you to see it. Can she see it? So it says, you see where it says Italy on the bottom? And then it says 14K on top. I wonder what this fanciness is down here then. <sighs> Did I already pack up my <laughs> diamond tester? I don't think so. I'm looking on here to see if I see any marks on this. Hmm. Now, just because it's marked doesn't mean it's real, right? Stamps are cheap. Um. Whatever it is, it's dirty. I'm looking at it to see if I see any. Yeah, we'll see. I hate to get my hopes up. All right, let's check with the mag with this magnet. Okay, the spring could be magnetic in there. No, oh, you're grabbing the wrong thing. Okay, hang on. Yeah, the chain is not magnetic. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side to test it. Because I think this chain, because the chain is not magnetic, it's got some little kinks in it, you know? So, I mean, ones like this that have little kinks. I don't know if I can get, yes, yeah, Swarovski. Do they have moissanite in Italy? M is that what I said was MOS? Is that right? 14 karat Italy, it says, okay, on the side. M-O-R. All right, so this is going to come up here. I'll test it. I'll, I'll show, if you if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook and um, go follow because then I'll share when I get done here. I'll go. I'll, I'll go check it out So then this necklace ooh, Okay, there we go. That might be do we have more bonus here double bonus hair. Hang on. Whoa. Oh, wait, where did it go? Where is it? I'm sorry. I gotta get it out of here before it falls on me. Where did it go? Oh Gosh, okay. We lost it Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Hang on there it is. It's going over here. So I know where it is. Okay, so this is cute. Little chain, and then it's got a little owl head. It looks like part of the owl's head is missing. It, it I think. Because there's no beak. Is that weird? Is it just me? Like what's missing there? It's just the owl's eyes. Oh wait, maybe that's the beak in the middle. Like it's a tiny beak. Well, I hope he's not self-conscious. Because that's a tiny beak. How are you going to eat with that beak? It's so tiny. Okay, anyway. Weird little owl face with a tiny beak. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Nawanda says, easy. yeah, most likely it's crystal or something. But I'm going to check the chain for sure. Okay. Yeah, stylized owl. That's cute. Okay, people like owls. Uh, okay, this is the mate for that earring. It's okay. We'll sell it. These are mates this is sort of like a i don't know it looks like a part of my back right um yeah I'm looking for a mark on there it, it looks like a vertebrae doesn't it or a piece of bamboo but more like a vertebrae so that's weird um i'll just leave that over there we have a random one earring which the mate baby and the other one beak envy <laughs> oh did you see an owl this morning CZ or check, Lord Ahab says. CZ, uh, CZ usually stands for cubic zirconia, yeah. Gucci bamboo, does it look like Gucci bamboo? Maybe I need to look closer. We did have that other one, right? Uh, it's got some verdigree on it. I don't see any marks. Gucci would have like a little mark, wouldn't it, normally, maybe? I'll look it up, I'll look it up. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, next we have another one of these really, really long ones. We've got a lot of cool stuff in here. Okay, I'm not I don't feel so bad now. And you're right, this is one of three. 
So there are there are two others we'll do later. How about that? But you know, he said James Avery and and there was some stuff, but okay. Maybe I let my emotions get away with me. Or maybe I'll be fine. All right, so that one is magnetic. I'll still probably try to sell it. I, I like it enough to try to sell it. Okay, are we there yet? Okay, here we are. Oh, no, no, no. There's still some rings up here. So there's this ring that you can see the finish is already kind of coming off of, you know? All right, where's, where are we at before I get 44? Okay, <laughs> go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends. Okay, then there are these little stackable rings. They're little tiny stackable rings. It, there's nobody there. It's fine. Whatever. Um, they're not magnetic, but that doesn't mean they're silver or anything. But they're cute. They're little stackable. I love this one that's got kind of like this baguette cut right there. I mean, you could wear that by itself. You don't need a whole bunch of other stuff around it. A baguette is a baguette, right? Um, <laughs> and I can't tell. There's like little stones on the side, but one is missing. Yeah, I don't see any kind of markings in them. So they're just fun little, I don't know. It's got a little missing stone. Darn it. Hmm. This one kind of looks tarnished. No, it's just the coating. Okay, I feel like I'm just talking to myself. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There's those, those are cute. Okay, now, okay, give me your opinions. Y'all wanna sit here for a minute? I can't, my eye itches, but I can't touch it. I use my knuckle, there we go. Um, do y'all wanna wait a second and see what I can come apart, what I can get apart, or y'all wanna just like hang up now and, and, and I'll let you know? Or I could just look at all the, all the clasps. I'll just go, how about that? I'll go after all the clasps. And see what I see. Does that sound, does that sound like a deal? Oh wait, there's an earring in here. What are you doing in there? This is a chain party. This is not an earring party. Yes. Um. Oh, did he? James Avery passed away a couple days. Okay, untangle. They say. I need a pin. Okay, I'm gonna go for it for a little bit. We'll see how much we can get apart. Well, this neck, not this necklace, but I've got a necklace that I wear from time to time that's like a bone carved owl on and I've told this story before and it's on a 14 karat gold chain and it's really tiny tiny fine chain like this like teeny fine 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 chain um but when I got it I got it in the state sale and it was like crumpled up in the bot in the bottom of this box and it was like a knot like a ball and it didn't have a price on it so I walked it over to the lady checking everybody out and I was like how much for this and she was like it was either a dime or a quarter. So I thought, oh, just give me a quarter. Give me a dime for that. And I took it home and I picked that baby apart, man. I probably spent an hour untangling, detangling that. Um, yes. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this. I feel like a mad woman <laughs> trying. There, there is a Rhonda necklace in here, though. I can, I will try to just, yeah, yeah. You know what might help is if I, when I come across these, if I, un, I'm going to open them because then maybe that, tell me if that's a horrible idea because guess what? I'm already doing it. <laughs> Baby oil and chopsticks. I'm just going to undo all of the clasps I find because then I figure we've got that much more of a chance for them to come apart, right? If I undo a clasp. If I see a promising clasp, I'm going to look at it closer. I'm undoing you. I'm going to undo you. Oh, it's already working. Okay, cool. Yay. That was a really good idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Opening works. Okay, so we're getting, no, we're not really. Okay, this one looks promising. What does that say? My eyes, okay. What does that say? Um, this is Marvel. Is Marvel a thing in jewelry? I don't know. Is there a gold company? Called Marvel? I wouldn't think so. No, 120th gold kit. Blah, blah, blah. 120th something something. That all the charms may fall off when I do that? Oh, well, I guess that's a chance I'm willing to take. I'm living life on the edge. <laughs> oh my gosh, help me. 
Oh, I, you know, I'm going to go, for, I'm going to go for it for a little bit longer. And then I may just have to say, cause I mean, how, how long can you really watch me stare into what looks like my lap? Because you can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, that's a pretty cross. I can, I can narrate what I'm doing. I'm pushing this cross chain through this other loopy hole. And now I've got this other ball of mess. Oh, gosh. Okay. How about this? How about this? I'm going to hold it up <laughs> and I'll show you all the charms and stuff. And then I'll let you know. So there's Rhonda hanging from a bar and there, where's the cross thingy? There's this heart here with all of those. There's this key and that here's this other one. That was one of the ones I saw that I thought looked promising. Can we get, okay, then there was uh, this one, which is different. It's got like this weird shape and this faux cameo on it. And it's like, like watching someone learn to knit. Oh my gosh, oh, I dropped a loop. I dropped it, what do you call it? I dropped a stitch. Um. There's a little cross on here that looks good. Oh, there's a couple of them. Okay, there's a cross. Oh, you can't see. I'm not holding it up high enough. There's that cross. There's another one there. It's got like a little stone in it. You can't see it. There's this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes. I know, I could sing a song. <laughs> Gosh, How am I, I'm gonna get all the thumbs down <coughs> now. It might all be one necklace, right? When I untangle it, it's, yeah, an alternate universe is going to pop open. And then someone will say, why did you do it? I spent 13 years vanquishing my enemies, saving the planet, and I contained him in a ball of tangled jewelry. And you have released him into the world, and now it is your responsibility. Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel to go and get him back. <laughs> okay, sing us a Broadway tune. Okay, okay, Blue Moon. I got a request. You saw me standing alone without a dream in my heart, thrill in my heart, without a love of my own. Blue Moon. You knew just what I was there for. Woo, something fell out. Yes. You, I, maybe you have to sing to it to get it to come apart. That's the trick. You heard me sing a prayer for someone I really could care for. And then the sunbeam appeared before me. The only one my arms could ever hold. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculous. I heard somebody whisper, please adore me. And when I look, the moon had turned to gold. Oh, blue moon. Okay, any more? <laughs> um, tell us more about yard sales. I guess that's my my cue to stop singing. <laughs> um, oh, thanks, Bob's Army. Uh, James Avery. Oh, I love, yeah, I love James Avery stuff. I, I Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that he passed away. I'm going to have to find out about that. I mean, they must have other people designing for him. He, his, um, James Avery, their headquarters is in the town where my sister lives in, in uh, Kerrville. So there's like a huge James Avery. <laughs> this is on a trip, <laughs> but can she dance? I can totally dance. I can't. I did you guys know? Okay, how about that? We'll do Q's and A's. Ask me questions, I'll answer questions. I used to teach swing dance back in the, or like in the 90s when like swing had a revival sort of for a little while. I used to teach swing. Is this true? <laughs> so I got pictures somewhere of me. I think I, I shared a couple on my Instagram of me uh, swing dancing. And and then in Merch, in, in Merch University, we did a like, tell us something that you can do that maybe not other people can do or something like that. And that was mine. I was like, oh yeah, I used to teach swing dance. 
Yeah. Um, where <laughs> went to three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. <laughs> triple step, triple step, rock step. Trying to teach a bunch of drunk people how to swing dance. It's, it's more fun than it sounds. <laughs> For sure. Oh, gosh. Really? Okay. It was going better when I was singing. Okay, what else should I sing? Or ask me a question. Do you have a... Do you have voice training? Oh, no. Well, you know what? Okay, here's, an, here's another fun fact. I used to be a theater major. When I left high school, I, had a, I got a theater scholarship at a junior college, so I had a full ride for two and a half years at a junior college. <laughs> two and a half, that's right. You got that right. Um, so <laughs> I had a full, full ride uh, for a theater uh, major at, a, at the junior college. And while we were there, one of the classes we had to take was voice, and I ended up dropping the class. Couldn't stand it. I was like, ugh. At the time, I was like, I can't sing. I'm never gonna sing. This is ridiculous. Why am I taking this? So anyway, um, we had two directors, and when we did Little Shop of Horrors, the I, I did not end up auditioning because I was like, I don't sing. Well, the the, the director that was the one of the one that was going to direct that one she came to me afterwards when i did an audition she was like i wanted you to play audrey why didn't you audition for me i was like i can't sing oh well <laughs> i guess that was my loss <laughs> did you ever tutor anyone when i was in school um when i was in school when i was a, a, an education major i tutored um international students this is when i was at u of h university of houston through the international office i got something apart haha -ha. um through the international office um for international students they had a program called strictly speaking and so i tutored international students um on english and so like we would sit down and we would play word games and i i yeah there was one girl and i would ask them questions too like so a lot of them changed their names like so one girl um, she was from, I think she was from Vietnam, and she changed her name to Sandy. And um, so I was asking her, well, why'd you change your name to Sandy? And so she said she changed her name to Sandy because of Greece. And then she would, every week, the same girl, Sandy, <laughs> she would come to me and she would say, okay, tell me again what overalls means. You know, so they would come to me with things they'd heard during the week and ask me. And so one day she came and she's like, Margaret, what does kick your ass mean? <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, Sandy, who said that to you? No, 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 I heard it on TV. I was like, okay, good, good. <laughs> um, uh, where did I teach, Francis? I taught, there was a club, and the first club that we started at was called Club Chicago, and that's where I started learning how to dance too, and slowly started teaching. And then there was a club in Houston called the Orchid Lounge, so if any of my Houston people are here, then we, um, then I taught there for a bit. So I'm getting there. I'm getting, so we'll just keep talking or not. So, uh, what did he blue? I'm looking and see. If, uh, I'm going to keep going. James and I can't sing. I want to. <laughs> uh, so, sing. I, I don't know if I know all the words to Moon River. Moon River. Booty, booty, boo. Can I sing it using booty? Boo. Mm, something, my huckleberry friend. Oh gosh, you're uh, oh, we're after the same rainbows end, my huckleberry friend. Moon River, um, yeah. Um, well, my favorite color is green, even though I wear black all the time. What's the difference between swing dance and shag dance? Shag is more like a I mean, it's, I think it's still a swing style dance, but it's more of a, I think it came out in the 50s or something like that. Um, I was enamored when I sang Lydia. Oh, I love Lydia. That's one of my favorites. And I never sing the whole thing, do I? Because it's a long one, too. Um, I'll sing it in a second. One of my German exchange to was terrified when I said to her, pick your brains. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, very literal. Hail to swivel. Oh yeah, I and I love. Did you ever see the movie Shag? Um, who did that have in it? Oh gosh, it had like oh, what was her name? What's her name? She's married to Kevin Klein. Oh gosh, my her name just slipped out of my brain. 
And she's super cute too. What's her name? She's married to Kevin Klein. She was in Shag, the movie Shag. Um, Fast Times at Ridgemont High too, right? What is her name? Oh gosh, and she's adorable. Somebody's gonna help me in the chat, I just know it. Ali Sheedy, no, it's not Ali Sheedy. Um, it's not Ali Sheedy. It's Phoebe Cates, that's the one. And she even has a cute name, right? Yeah, yeah, Phoebe Cates. Heather, what was your, oh, Moon River, was that your wedding song? Or Lydia the Tattoo Lady? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take a sip of water and then I'll sing, okay? I'm laughing to myself because I can't believe I'm sitting here untangling, detangling cord or chains, trying to sing Lydia the Tattoo Lady. Maybe it'll come apart easier. Okay, ready? I'm gonna try to remember all the chord, all the verses, but I always sing them out of order. Okay. <sighs> ready? Oh, I'm embarrassed now. Oh, I'm getting embarrassed. Okay. Um. Lydia, oh Lydia, say have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattoo lady. She's got eyes that men adore so, and a torso even more so. Lydia, oh Lydia, that encyclopedia, oh Lydia the queen of tattoo. On her back is the battle of Waterloo. <clears throat> Beside the wreck of the Hesperus too, and proudly above waves the red, white, and blue. <clears throat> you can learn a lot from Lydia. La 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 Oh Lydia, oh Lydia, say have you met Lydia? Lydia the tattoo lady. Oh I'm out of order now. When her muscles start relaxing up the hill rides Andrew Jackson. Lydia, oh Lydia, say have you met Lydia? Oh Lydia the queen of tattoo. Oh I already sang that part. Oh, what's another part? Um My brain just like forgot some of the verses. She once swept an admiral clear off his feet. The ships on her hips made his heart skip a beat. And now the old boy's in command of the fleet. Cause he went and married Lydia. Oh gosh, come on, Tangles, we're getting there. Um, she can give you a view of the world in tattoo if you step up. Then tell her where for a dime you can see Kankakee or Paris or Washington crossing the Delaware. La la la, la la la, la la la, la la la. I can't believe this is happening. We're really doing this. Oh, Lydia, oh, Lydia. Say, have you met Lydia? Wait. Oh, what's the one? She does something with a mazurka and jazz. With a view of Niagara with no, nobody has. And on a clear day, you can see Alcatraz. You can learn a lot from Lydia. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Bye, Debbie. Seriously, I can't believe y'all are hanging out watching me sing Lydia the Tattoo Lady untangling strings. Okay, I'm going to have to call it here in a second because I don't know how long this is going to take. We could be here all afternoon. And that might just become a bit ridiculous. I might need to just sit at the table and keep it up. Uh, okay, that's that's what I'm gonna do because I feel really bad that I'm still sitting here doing this. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's called a station necklace. Oh, thanks, Vintage Superstar Co. When you get to this part, you may have to fast forward. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get this one particular necklace out. The one with the silhouettes on it because I just love it. I'm trying. I'm almost there. You've never heard Lydia before? Oh my gosh. If you have an Alexa, ask Alexa to play Lydia. Um, Groucho Mark sang it in the movie, I think he was singing it at the circus. And then also um, Kermit the Frog <laughs> has done a version of Lydia the Tattoo Lady, which is also fun to listen to. Kermie. So yeah, you could ask Alexa to sing Lydia. And I think Robin Williams sings it in The Fisher King when that when that movie was out, or in that movie, rather. Oh, gosh. I just want to get to the end of this one. Oh, wait, there is the end of this one. I wanted to see. Oh, my gosh, my fingers are disgusting, you guys. 
I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna say that's it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go finish detangling this because I wanted to get this part off the heart with these silhouettes on them because I think it's super cool. But look, the detangle has been for 20 minutes. Okay, that's good. We'll call it there. Look, look at this. Disgusting. Disgusting. And I'm gonna go to I'll test this too when I'm done. And I'll let you guys know. So if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll post it over there. Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta call it. I can't sit here. <sighs> okay, go over there, you guys. Please, please hit the thumbs up and let me know. I didn't just humiliate myself too badly, too badly. Okay, I will. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and uh, I will let you know what becomes of all of this. Yay. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot, everybody.